Compax Neuromuscular Electrical Stimulation Infraspinatus Peak shoulder external rotation force was significantly increased by 22% when tested with neuromuscular electrical stimulation after rotator cuff repair surgery, according to Reynold et al. 2008. Where do you place the pads for stimulating the infraspinatus? So you need two square 5cm electrode pads. Place the negative black electrode on the superior lateral end of the infraspinatus muscle belly. Place the positive red electrode on the medial side of the infraspinatus muscle belly. This way the current is running through the motor point of infraspinatus. Now you have choices as to what you do next. Ideally start with potentiation, which is three minutes long and the aim is to take the intensity up as high as tolerably possible. This will essentially warm up the muscle and nervous system ready for the workout. If somebody is very weak and chronically inhibited in this muscle, then use the potentiation and then use low frequency settings such as endurance, which activates type 1 muscle fiber types. If they are very weak and inhibited, then you may not even get a contraction at all, but stick with the low frequency stimulation and they should start to increase contraction strength from session to session. Each time, keep trying to get the maximum tolerable intensity and during the session you should be able to increase this too. Once good contraction is achieved, then move up to the next frequency, which could be disuse atrophy, then resistance, then strength, then explosive strength. This increase in frequency will achieve more muscle fiber types. So high frequency and high intensity will gain the greatest motor recruitment. If somebody is already quite strong in the infraspinatus, then you can go up to the high frequency straight away. You can use the machine passively at first, then advance to working with voluntary contractions. Just like normal rotator cuff rehab, you can for example do exercise band external rotation in neutral and progress to things such as through range flexion with exercise band rotation buys and move to more functional motions for the later stages. When using it passively, you can run the whole program length. And when performing voluntary contraction, then depending on your goals, you can apply training principles for strength, power or endurance. You are likely to get delayed onset muscle soreness, but you can use the recovery or massage setting to ease this or even prevent this.